Hey guys, Professor Fat Shady from the University of Trials, and I am back making a video. I haven't done for ages. Uh, if you don't already, check me out on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv forward slash uni of trials. Um, I tend to be spending a bit more time there, but anyway, let's get into this video. I have had a Twitter request, couldn't be bothered putting it up on screen, from KLD Prime. That's at KLD Prime on Twitter, reached out to at Uni of Trials. This is all about self promotion right now. Um, he reached out to me and said that he was having trouble with the last checkpoint of Way of the Machine and asked for some help. Um, I haven't played this for ages, but I'm just going to fumble my way through, you know, my style. Um, it sounds like, right, so the messages I got, there was a few little back and forth, but it sounds like he's struggling. I'm assuming KLD is a dude. I shouldn't assume masculine, but anyway, I'm going to go with dude. Um, Seriously? Stop messaging me when I'm making videos. Alright, um, I, the impression I got was that there was a an inability to complete this last little bit, and it sounds like he wanted help from the ramp all the way up. So, it sounds like he's able to get to this point, right? And I, I remember doing this, especially on the roach, I had a hell of a lot of problems. So it sounds like he's getting to this point, riding flat out, and still doing that, right? That's my guess about what the problem is, right? So that's our problem statement. Now let's talk about possible solutions. Um, to me, there's two ways to complete this. The first is to try and steady yourself. Now I find this to be the more consistent way, right? So make that bunny hop, get up to here. The trick is you wanna use every millimeter of this ramp, right? So you wanna go back all the way as far as you possibly can, and then you wanna go, and what you wanna do, when you get to the top, and this is the bad part about me not editing these properly, what you want to do is actually lean a little bit forward. So, so what tends to happen if you have your rear wheel too low, you're gonna your front wheel is gonna hit that sort of upper ramp like this, and you're gonna gonna hit your rear wheel. So if you over rotate and have your rear wheel up high, when your front wheel hits, it will kind of coast a little bit, and your rear wheel will land on the right ramp and keep going. So let me just do that a few more times, so I don't have to use my hands. So. And that bunny hop here, I'll get to that in a second too. That bunny hop sucks for so many different reasons. Alright, so, steady yourself here. Throttle control. And if you look, and it, it was saying, you can get to this point pretty easily. I don't want to come to your party. Stop it. I'm making a video for people, for KLD Prime. Alright, so steady yourself here. Throttle control, throttle control, all the way back. Really try and get it to the point where the midpoint of your wheel almost touches the edge, right? Right down there. Floor it, but over rotate. And you want to be, and this is this is the other tip. When you're doing this, it needs to be a confident acceleration. Now, if you accelerate at 100%, you're probably going to do a backflip. Yeah, your front wheel lifts up too much. Yeah, you can kind of stop it. I don't want to talk to you. I've turned off notifications one day. All right. He'll probably watch this video and be all upset. Sorry. Sorry. Working. There you go. But see that little over-rotate? Dude. <laughs> Alright, he can have his moment in the sun. He'll watch the video later and see him pissing me off. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's do this again. So, um, let's try it one more time and then I'll see if I can do it in one fluid motion. So, bunny hop to there. Go to the top here, settle, settle yourself down. Um, so what I would suggest from the acceleration perspective, um, so I'm pressing hard to the left and accelerating. The main thing you don't want to do is have your front wheel lift up. So as you start accelerating, so it's hard to sort of pinpoint. Let me just do it again and get a feel for this and see how much throttle I'm putting on. But uh, I get the impression it just needs to start it's it's almost it's almost full throttle. I think it's just just when you're accelerating, right? If you just go straight to 100% throttle, the front wheel's going to lift up, and even the slightest lift of the front wheel will put you at the wrong trajectory. So you just want to ease on, but over a quarter of a second. It's such a minute time frame, but you just want to sort of ease and then full throttle. Keep leaning hard, get a nice clean jump. When your front wheel gets up, over rotate a bit, and your front wheel gets up. So let's do it a couple more times, just because it's only been four and a half minutes. Would have only been three minutes had it not been for interruptions. Thank you, random UID or something. But there you go. See, that little over rotate really does help there. So I think that's the tip for this video. Now, I want to see if I can make this uh, in one motion. So let's try this for a second. And I, I, I remember when I was going for gold and platinums, I didn't do this in 
one motion. I did this in the, the technique I just showed you. Uh, but let's do this. Um, I think from a neutral position, you kind of want to be here. Nope. I think, actually, I remember you almost had to do a little a little endo at the start here. So you just get yourself a little bit of... Alright, I'm just going to play for a second. I, I think I've already given you my sieve. So I kind of just want to get a little endo here. Oh yeah. So that's the other way you can do it. So it is... The alternate, alternate thing is a little bit of a... And again, I, I would argue if you're, and it sounds like KLD Prime's going for gold, so I would suggest that this is far less consistent because you kind of need to put a lot of more things together in one fluid motion. Uh, but it is possible, a little bit of a, yeah, a little bit of a um, endo here like that, binding hop, full throttle, and you can get up and over. So. I've given you two different options, two different techniques. I've presented you the one that I feel is much more consistent. Um, the tricky thing is now, if you're going for golds, I don't remember how many faults it is for gold on this, um, but if you're going for gold, it is a, it's a tricky track. And if you're not talking, you're not you know trying to zero fault this. I suggest that it's there's probably some you know some consistency in your riding that you probably still need to focus on because this track is an endurance track. Um, but if you're just having trouble getting over that over that uh, obstacle, then I'm hoping this video helps. By the way, this is ace. It's just a spectacular track. Now I know if you're going for gold and it's killing you, it's incredibly annoying. But it is just such a good track. But anyway, I'm going to finish up this video now because otherwise I'm going to sit here for another few minutes and fall heaps. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining in and subscribing and whatever you do on YouTube. Uh, check out Twitch, check out Twitter, and say hi. Um, I've been quiet, I've been doing some other stuff outside of this space, but uh, yeah, I'm still around. So um, look, Twitter's the best place to get me, at Uni of Trials, and if you do have any video requests, please let me know and I'll happily make them as I did for at KLD Prime on Twitter. Thank you so much, be back soon, bye.